Ahoy there, YouTubers and plant lovers. It's Justin coming to you from the Big Blue Nation again. And today I was going to be explaining how to overwinter your canna lilies. And I believe I have a couple of amaryllis out there too. So basically these are tubers that are fully grown plants. And it's about winter time here, so I'm going to go ahead and chop them down and exude the tuber plants and uh, wrap them up and save them for next year. So this basically works in the theory that uh, the plants go dormant during the winter time, so they're not going to need any light or any water at all. So what I'll do is I'll wrap them up in kind of like some newspaper and um, this stuff will actually be for the uh, insulation to kind of keep them warm and dry. And uh, I've got a couple rubber bands to kind of keep the box closed all season. And then next year I'll come and uh, open them back up and plant them again and have some big beautiful plants. So really the only thing you really need to do this project is a shoe box or any kind of container that you can uh, use to keep the tubers dry. Uh, like I said, you need some newspaper or magazine paper that's used to kind of hold it in there and insulate it and keep it dry and warm as well. And then you'll need a little shovel, a little hand spade to dig the tubers up. And you'll need a sharp pair of pruning shears that are sanitized. And you'll remember that plants can cause diseases between other plants. So anytime you're going to use this on one plant, I wouldn't use it on another unless you completely sanitized it. Alright guys, hang tight. So once you get the plant up, you need to just bang off as much of the loose dirt as you can. A bit of the roots will probably fall off, that'll be okay. Then you'll just make a cut right above the tuber and chop the plant off. And that's what you need, the roots and the tubers. Now you won't get all the dirt off and that's fine. But this is the part you need here that you'll plant next year. You can cut some of the roots off, that won't hurt the plant at all. I think as a general rule of thumb, you're allowed to cut off about 75% of the roots without actually doing a lot of harm to the plant. So if you've just got a big heaping mess and don't have a whole lot of room, by all means trim back the roots. Any kind of big mass of dirt, you kind of want to go through to make sure that there's not going to be a little tuber in there like that. That will regrow.
Now you don't want too much of the fleshy part on here because as the moisture evaporates and dries out, it can actually, any kind of sugar residue or anything like that can kind of uh, be potentially harmful for the tuber. You'll want to get as much of the dirt off as possible because there are worms and stuff down in here and any other kind of insects and you don't really want to bring that into the house. So to get any of those worms off there you can. Just be nice. dug up the area you kind of want to go over and make sure you didn't leave any tubers in there because that right there will actually grow. Ideally you want to do this before your first frost of the season sets in but unfortunately last night we had a small frost or I guess a light frost you'd say and uh, I didn't get this finished last night. So what you'll want to do is just make sure you dig them up, cut them as best you can, stick them in a box, and pack a bunch of newspaper or magazine paper down in there to kind of keep it insulated and dry. Now that all that's done, I'm just going to tape the box up just to make sure that uh, no moisture or anything can really get down in there and cause any harm. And I'll keep this taped up all season long and then come next spring, I'll just open it up and stick them down in the dirt and they'll be good to go. Now like I said, I've had some canna lilies in here and some amaryllis, similar to what you get around the holidays. And you'll want to stick it in a cool, kind of dark place. I'll put this uh, probably in my garage and they'll be fine all season long. Alright YouTubers, that's really all I have to say about this experience. I hope this kind of helps you figure out what you can do with any kind of tubers that you have that won't make it through the winter time. These are tropical plants and that's really about it. Leave me a comment and let me know if uh, you've had any kind of experience with any kind of canna lilies or amaryllis or any other kind of tuber plant. And let me know how your experiences have gone with it, positive or negative. Be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button or the bell next to it. That way you'll know anytime I've uploaded a new video. Well guys, take it easy and don't forget, always plant prudently. Thank you YouTube. Alright tubers, if you want to see last week's video, feel free to click right here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click over here as well. Alright guys, have a good one. Thank you.